Hello and welcome. Uh, in this uh, video tutorials, uh, we are going to work on uh, data science reloading project. So in this project, this is an introduction part, uh, episode zero, uh, 01, and uh, watch all the videos uh, and you will be perfect in data science and you will work real world projects as well. So the project title, we are going to work on uh, in this data science reloaded project uh, video uh, series, the battle of neighborhood, which is uh, identifying similar or dissimilar, dissimilarity of uh, New York and Toronto city. I select uh, uh, the two cities actually. So uh, based on this uh, tutorial, you can select your own uh, city and collect data and analyze and uh, do uh, the uh, projects. So the problem uh, or the business problem in this uh, project is the uh, uh, New York and Toronto, both cities are very diverse and financial capitals of their respective countries. The problem description is how we could determine the similarity or dissimilarity of both cities by comparing their neighborhoods. So uh, the, this is the uh, project uh, problem description. Is New York City more like Toronto or Paris or as some other uh, city? So by clustering uh, neighborhoods, by clustering categories and items, uh, grouping based on clustering algorithm. Actually, uh, we will work on clustering algorithm. Uh, specifically, we will uh, select k-means clustering algorithm. But uh, uh, to reach at the end of this project, to make a conclusion, we will go uh, through a lot of steps and from data collection, uh, data analysis or data cleansing. And uh, there are a lot of things uh, that that going to cover all data science concepts in this project. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share, and like uh, to receive uh, everyday video episodes. So uh, in this uh, project, we are going to compare the neighborhoods of New York and Toronto City using a clustering algorithm, K-means clustering algorithm. So uh, in this project, uh, we, uh, we have to use different sources of data to address the problem we have mentioned in this uh, in the upper. Wikipedia is one of the source of data to get list of postal codes of Canada. Actually, in this uh, project, we are going to use uh, location data, geographical coordinates of uh, cities, because to uh, map to group based on their uh, geographical location. The data is unstructured. Uh, so we are going to, uh, in order to be uh, a structured, we are going to scrap and clean to make it a structure and ready for data analysis. We can get geographical coordinates of neighborhoods for getting latitude and longitude data for neighborhoods. Another source of data is Foursquare database. Foursquare, we are going to use Foursquare API to uh, get uh, Venus, all Venus from uh, uh, database. So the data we uh, we are going to uh, 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 scrap or get is uh, in the JSON file formats. So we can also uh, filter out all category values from that uh, JSON files. So if you uh, follow this uh, video episodes, you are going to uh, learn a lot. Uh, about data science. All right, the first step uh, in this case is data collection, which or data preparation. Uh, first, we are going to prepare Toronto data. Uh, we are going to scrap 
postal uh, data of Toronto from uh, this uh, website. That is list of uh, postal codes of Canada or uh, uh, which contains Toronto. Uh, this is uh, available in the Wikipedia. You are going to scrap this. Uh, this data is in the form of table. So we can simply uh, use pandas uh, to extract, uh, to scrap this data. We also uh, get coordinates like latitude and longitude of uh, all the uh, postal codes of Toronto data from uh, Excel. Uh, actually, you can find the links about uh, this uh, in the description box of this video because uh, you can uh, simply extract the data from that if you wanted to use, uh, you want to practice on your own uh, case. All right, now we are going to uh, scrap. First, let's import pandas. Uh, then we are going to extract postal codes of uh, Canada from uh, Wikipedia website. Uh, so uh, the tables are already available. So our target is how can we extract this part, this uh, table part from this Wikipedia website. Uh, okay. Toronto DF. PD dot read HTML, then we can uh, copy this link from the Wikipedia. So uh, read HTML can read, uh, it is a pandas function. We can read uh, any uh, data from websites. Uh, in this case, there are uh, tables. Uh, the first table is index zero, just uh, index zero. The first uh, we can uh, represent by indexing. So the first table, our target is just extracting the postal address of Canada. So if there are a lot of uh, tables in the website, we can simply re uh, refer the index of that uh, website. So outside we can put zero because this table is uh, found at uh, index zero, or it is uh, at the first, uh, just uh, consider as the first elements. All right, now we can run this and we can simply check that. Now the Toronto data is parsed we can just explore the first five rows and we can check. All right, uh, the, all the data from this uh, car is extracted, all right, or okay. All right, uh, now the next step is uh, extract uh, or uh, explore. This is actually uh, found in the CSV uh, file and this website you can find in the description box, extract Toronto's coordinates to Toronto coordinates, pd.read. CSV. This is a CSV file. Okay. Just uh, copy this part and here. Okay, there is a missing optional if uh, use pip or condensed. Okay, okay, there is space here, all right. Uh, 
uh, just uh, reading this data from or downloading this data from website all right uh, we can check we can explore these coordinates the first five rows of yeah uh, this uh, coordinate data uh, contains postal code latitude and longitude of canada or toronto city uh, so we are going to extract uh, this uh, the toronto postal uh, data is not uh, clean uh, we are going to clean this uh, data and extract the exact uh, postal codes along with neighborhood and borough so uh, because and we can just uh, come based on the coordinates of each uh, postal code watch the next video about the data cleansing parts of uh, toronto data thanks for watching today